Well, major concerns tonight as more people are expected to visit family and friends this holiday compared to last year as COVID cases continue to rise across the U.S. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. Sean has the night off. President Joe Biden announcing actions today to tackle the coronavirus and the spread of the Omicron variant, which includes setting an emergency response team to Arizona. News 4 2 son Shelly Jackson joins us live from the Pima County Health Department with how the president plans to protect the country this winter. Shelly. Well, Priscilla, less than a month ago, most Americans hadn't heard of the Omicron variant. Now it's the do dominant strain in the U.S., accounting for more than 73 percent of COVID cases. Today, President Biden, out Biden outlining steps on how the federal government will protect Americans during this weather winter weather COVID surge. We should all be concerned about Omicron, but not panicked. If you're fully vaccinated, and especially if you got your booster shot, you are highly protected. President Joe Biden announcing the federal government's push to protect Americans this winter. The biggest takeaway? Half a billion at-home rapid tests will be available in January. Americans can sign up online to receive free tests. The testing is good. Let's see how efficient the rollout is and how quickly those test kits get here because Omicron is moving at light speed. The president also setting up more testing sites and vaccination clinics, as well as mobilizing 1,000 troops to help hospitals. Some resources going to Yuma Regional Medical Center and Canyon Vista Hospital in Cochise County. The Arizona Department of Health Services says that includes 20 paramedics to help at the facilities. But will it be enough for hospitals already at a critical stage? Nothing is going to be enough for what's going to happen in Arizona in January. Nothing. This is a critical moment. We also have more tools than we've ever had before. We're ready. We'll get through this. And earlier this week, the White House said another round of lockdowns is not in the cards. Live from the South Side, Shelley Jackson, News 4 Tucson.